What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. You're watching The Bearded Geek. Well, today we are going to learn about a website or rather a browser-based uh, software uh, which, which, which would help you create 3D objects or uh, 3D modeling objects rather. This is a great way for the uh, 2D animators and illustrators and designers for you know exploring their options on the 3d softwares i recently came across this website and i thought it would be a real good help if i can share this uh, software with you guys it's a freemium website it's not a completely free website uh, the website is vectory uh, it gives you a certain amount of projects to work upon on the initial level and then you can go ahead and switch to the uh, paid plan but uh, honestly i would say if you want to learn this is a real good website because i have went to the website myself and it gives you in-depth step-by-step guide uh, onto you know how can you create those 3d uh, dimension objects or models and you know stuff like that i see uh, it's it's a man over here it's like i, I think it's pm modi uh, which we have on the home page but uh, yeah, so let's get started. This is like, uh, it's basically the most accessible 3D and augmented reality design platform. There are no downloads needed. As, as I said, this is a browser based uh, software. So you don't need to download any applications to your desktop or laptop. Um, it's fast. Uh, it gives you a high quality 3D results and uh, it's end to end workflow available basically as it's a browser based one and you know you don't have to install the application you can open uh, the application anywhere so it becomes more easier for in case you're sitting in the client's office and you know you want to showcase them how exactly the things work and how much time does it take and stuff like that if you're a designer if you go for client meetings and stuff like that you can go ahead and showcase them what exactly it takes for you know creating the object because i i, I understand sometimes the clients could be you know uh, unrealistic and they can ask they can give you the deadlines which are not acceptable um well moving to the pricing let me just quickly show you what the pricing has to offer um i'm sorry about my my laptop it's a bit slow all right, so this is the pricing uh, in the free plan. They will give you a uh, learn 3D design with three free projects, import 2D and 3D files or create from scratch, uh, set lights, material and render the preview in case uh, after you have learned the, you know, the free version uh, and you have, you have made your hands on, you have grown your hands on the free, free software. There's also a light premium and company plan, which they offer. So you can go ahead and check out the features uh, in the particular plans. Apart from that, I would like to mention there are a few uh, templates which uh, uh, this particular software provides you when you're using the free version. So you can you can actually go ahead and, you know, choose uh, amongst this particular uh, template. I really like this lemonade one over here. Uh, or else if you don't like any of their templates, you can always go ahead and uh, request for the templates as well from here. Um, Apart from that, uh, to learn this, like the people who like to learn the shortcuts and stuff like that, there's a document section which is provided. So it will explain you the shortcuts, uh, how to export, what is the library, uh, object mode, edit mode. As far as I've understood, there are two main modes in this particular software. It's object and edit. Uh, so let's get started, guys. Uh, in order to start using this uh, software you will have to just sign up it's a free uh, way to sign up you can it gives you two options as you can see you can sign up with google or facebook or it is always better in fact to you know sign up with your own email address well i'm gonna go ahead and sign up with uh, google so once you actually give all your details, it's going to uh, land you on this particular page. I am going to agree with all these things. I want to be a better designer and receive tips. Okay. And it will ask you to create your account. Uh, help us give you a better experience. I want to use Vectory for maybe if you're a freelancer, it's just a hobby or school course. I'm just going to go as a hobby. And uh, my goal is to learn. It's simple and click on continue uh, 
uh, well after that it will what are you interested in embedding 3d models on the web using 3d in figma or sketch uh, fixing or optimizing the geometry and stuff like that you can actually go ahead and select uh, uh, the options which you would like i'm just gonna go as i'm not a designer i'm just gonna go and click on creating a D 3d design and click on submit and uh, the last and the most important question okay how should we call you all right so it's gonna be mayur and let's start so after you enter those details it will make you land on your dashboard okay there's a 30 percent off which is going on so you can you can actually go ahead and check out that particular offer as well uh yeah well after after filling up the details it will land you up on the dashboard as you can see it's dashboard and there are a lot of videos like right from create a 3d design embed web ar on the web uh, export to augmented reality figma and sketch 3d plugins and stuff like that so there are a lot of videos which you will get uh, for helping um, there are templates as i said as i mentioned earlier Welcome to your dashboard. All your projects are stored in the cloud. So this is a cloud based software. Uh, I'm going to click on next. Uh, start with a template. You can start. You can start with a new template. OK. Um, start from scratch. So over here, there is another add or template thing and you can start it from scratch. But not to worry. There are tips and tutorials. All right. Um, become a 3D designer in no time. Launch the 3D editor with a template. All right, I'm going to click on finish. Um, so as you as you see on the dashboard, you can actually create a team. You can add people. Uh, all right, for that is that is I'm so sorry. That is that is for the uh, paid people. I'm just going to click on a new project because I have discovered that uh, uh, base. So you click on this new project it takes a bit of a time because as i said this is not a software it's a browser based application um okay so create beautiful 3d models or whole scenes with vectory not sure where to start take an intro tour uh so these there's a video there's a basic option and there is embedded one so i i, I would click on let's take a tour the moment you click on let's take a tour there would be a video which is a oh my god it's an 18 minute of video which will actually give you an in-depth uh, uh, understanding of how can you create uh, things i'm just gonna click on finish here uh, and i'm gonna click on you can go ahead you after finishing that particular tutorial you can go ahead to the next tutorial to learn or you can click on this so this is basically your canvas you can uh, move this particular grids i am not familiar with the terminologies as well so excuse me for that but you can move this particular canvas grids uh, uh, by clicking on the left arrow and dragging uh, the arrow the way you want it the next part of which i have is uh, you can change the i mean you can move this particular grid uh, by clicking on the right and you know uh, panning it's called panning you can uh, pan it by clicking on the right right button on the mouse and just dragging the if you in case you want to scroll in i mean if you want to zoom in or zoom out you just need to scroll on the mouse now if you have if you feel that you know you have messed up or something and you just want to go back you can always go to this particular menu over here and go in the settings and reset the settings so it will reset it to the default one mm. uh, apart from that there is uh, this is the toolbar and the uh, menu bar which is there on the top uh, you can enter your project name here uh, let's say my first project Uh, apart from that now for example if you want to add something let's say uh, this is this is the properties menu which is there on the right hand side this is the campus uh, 
these are the main main modes which you would need to play let's go on the object mode i'm gonna right now start with a simple example that would be a text based uh, uh, example so as you see there is there is an example uh, uh, what do you call the word which has been added on the canvas you can click on this you can always go ahead and you know um, change the size let's say I want to make it to 200 uh, this you 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 can change the position over here uh, like you can move it to right left and stuff like that you can rotate it as you can see you just need to click on the left or uh, 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 click on the mouse and just drag I mean just move the uh, scroll thing uh, apart from that if you do if you want to change this let's say Mayur Pravar. Uh, apart from that there are other font options uh, I read about the website it allows you some 900 fonts altogether so that's a pretty uh, huge number you can change the the look and feel from regular to you know stuff like that then there is character spacing you can again do the same thing you need to click on the left uh, button of the mouse and you need to drag it there is line spacing oh right now we don't have two words so that would be that won't be possible but in yeah uh, you can change the color of this particular text and you can save it to let's say blue and you can always access those particular colors later on so don't worry about that uh, apart from that in case you want to add a text like for example if I want to duplicate this like if you want to add an object let's let's put a box over here uh, you see there is a box which has been added so these are the arcs like this this one moment so uh, we have added this box you can change these the size of this box by you know uh, playing with this particular arcs I I am sorry about that I don't know the uh, exact terminologies but I, even I'm learning with you guys um, you can rotate this particular box with this particular arcs over here the circle um, then there is another option about increasing and decreasing the size of the box which is like a completely uh, you know like from all the directions it, it is getting like sl uh, bigger and smaller uh, another part is you can actually move this box by clicking on this cent this this circle which is there the white circle uh, let me just go ahead and all right so and you can always um, <clears throat> go ahead and select the material for this now um, just give me one minute yeah so there are uh, pretty handy tools here you can change the material as I can see it's shaded wired and stuff like that uh, you can always go ahead and explore the other options as I said I'm not a designer so I'm not familiar a lot with this uh, uh, software but uh, definitely the jargons would be uh, you know more uh, better understanding for you guys uh, now in case if I want to add another let's say if I want to add another example like a text example uh, first project and you can just move that it's automatically selected so you can just move it uh, forward and uh, one second yeah this is the white circle so you can move it forward and backward and again you can do the same thing uh, by moving it upward downward and stuff like that well uh, this was this was like a rough I am uh, honestly this was not an uh, a tutorial video but this was just a rough hands on on understanding how can you go ahead about vectory well in case if you have you know messed up or something like that uh, you can always go ahead and uh, click on this reset button 
uh just in order to you know understand what exactly needs to be done uh there is also an option about understanding the faqs like uh, onboarding tutorials and stuff so you will again get the same thing let's take a tour trust me guys this video is really helpful it's a it's a step by step guide i know i have not uh, made a in depth uh, tutorial but trust me if you go through this particular video and if you come from the designing background you will definitely understand if you especially if you're a 2d designer or illustrator this is a great tool for you guys to try upon and uh, yeah that's about it well this was my video about how can you create uh, 3d objects uh, for free uh, at least it's a freemium one uh, do let me know if i was able to help you a little bit as well in the comment section um, uh, that's all from my end for today i will be back with another software another hack um, in, in case if you have not subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing i do bring such kind of videos and you know new websites and tools which you can try um, on, in your day to day life regarding digital marketing or passive incomes and stuff like that um, well that's about it guys thank you from my end and i'll be back with another video till then keep geeking